Hi, Fabio. Hey, Brandon. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? What trouble good. are you up to? Yeah, so I was looking at this EEG. There's so many phase reversals, and I think they're all epileptiform discharges, but there's so many of them. Oh, I'm, I'm glad uh, Ben Bendis is not here. He would really jump on you for what you just True. said. Wait! Oh, he, here, there he is! What? Nice! <laughs> Welcome, Celine. Thank you. I think we're in trouble here. We, we're, uh, Fabio is about to prescribe uh, maybe an, an AED to this patient and yeah. that they stay on it for life. It's kept on. It's a little bit of kept on. It won't hurt. And it's I fascinating it. to me where the idea came from that if there is a phase reversal, it must be epileptic form. I mean, I see that all the time because you look at reports and in the impression part of the report, it says there were phase reversal in this and that, implying that that's a bad thing. Is it? I thought it was. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, let's, can, you, can you see if I point with my arrow? I yeah, see, yeah. yeah, I see some, yeah. So, Fabio, which one in particular? Because you're right, there are a lot of phase reversals, in fact, everywhere. Is there one in particular that yeah. should we focus on this one or this one here? Or well, how about this one? That's yeah. That, that, that's yeah. That's a killer Those one. Are, I'm sure that one is at F four. So phase reversals, of course, mm -hmm. do not indicate what the discharge is. They indicate only where the discharge is. Mm -hmm. So if we go through the record a little bit, I am sure I can find you phase reversals of all kinds of things, including artifacts, normal rhythms. By the way, you see this is a bipolar, right? Typical double banana with the central on top and the temporal in the bottom. Mm -hmm. But we would like to see a phase reversal. How about these? I think these bother mm -hmm. Fabio tremendously. All T5s. I thought they were all temporal discharges. T5. That, that's definitely a phase reversal. So what does it mean? It means there is a maximum negativity here. So that discharge is maximum at T5. But mm -hmm. does it in itself make it abnormal or epileptic form? Good question. That is the question. And the answer, of course, is no. Here is in your same area. By the way, the left temporal region does appear to have some slowing mm -hmm. and possibly an amplitude asymmetry as compared to the right. Mm -hmm. But we are focusing on these, the, the phase reversals. And of course, as we said, they mean where the discharge is, not what it is. Mm. And you can see that there are some here. So the central area has some phase reversal. So in themselves, they don't mean much. But this is abnormal slowing in the left temporal region. There's definitely abnormal slowing. Now, now certainly when there are epileptiform discharges, we do, we do see phase reversals. So it's, On uh, a bipolar montage, of course, it has everything to do with the montage. But yeah, by default, we look at bipolar. Where, where so, does this... Um, tell us a little bit about where this idea kind of come from and how you can avoid this? Well, yeah, great question. So the, the idea becomes, as, as you know, if, if you, as you, in your epilepsy clinic in a referral center, mm -hmm. probably a third of the patients we see for intractable epilepsy don't have epilepsy. And a lot of them, the EEG is predicated on things like this, on, on the report. And, and then you look at the report and it explicitly says, oh, there is a phase reversal at T5 implying that that means epilepsy. So that's really, that's why we have to reverse the myth. Here's the big one for Fabio right here. Yeah. That's a P4. Mm -hmm. And so that wave is, has maximum negativity in P4. It's probably part of the algorithm and normal background. I'm trying to well, find you other things. So what you're saying Actually, is let's, a, yeah. maybe let, can we, can we pause on one of those and just go through carefully? You know what the points are that make it for and against its you know being an epileptic form discharge right here mm -hmm. so yes there is a phase reversal indicating that that particular wave is maximum negativity at f4 mm -hmm. why is it not epileptic form good question the the main argument is it does not clearly stand out from the background there is no interestingly there is not really an absolute voltage criterion it's more does it stand out of the background some people like to say would it hurt if you sat on it mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> probably maybe yeah but it doesn't clearly stand out it's relatively low amplitude as far as relative amplitude it does not disrupt it's standing out and disrupting so you want to see an after going slow wave it should have a different different frequency from the ongoing background here's another one here 
That yeah. thing really does not stand out. It's the same frequency as the ongoing activity. That's what I mean by disrupting. Right. Mm. And also, what what about the um, this criterion of uh, having a, a slope of the upgoing and downgoing part being different? I, yes, I, probably not in this case. Although, you know, the the one if we're looking at the one on the right side, the uh, the second downgoing part is longer. Longer, yes. But it, but it, so that gives you maybe the illusion that its slope is different, but I think it really is about the same. Yeah, the slope looks pretty similar, but you're right. That is another criterion that can be helpful. Mm -hmm. What does it really mean to stand out? Uh, let's remember these. Is it mean it that two things the amplitude is significantly higher than ongoing. And this one, for example, you can see the amplitude is similar to what's coming after. Okay. And it's usually followed by an aftergoing slow wave, so it disrupts the background activity. I, see. I would say on the one on the right, its amplitude is significantly higher than its neighbors. A little bit. But it doesn't have an aftergoing slow wave. Right. I, I just, I mean, uh, the other part that I find a little hard actually to verbalize, and I, I think, um, you know, just based on experience, but it doesn't really have a shape that's very suspicious for an epileptoform discharge. No, I agree. Quite right. And then there is another very important rule is if we have to discuss it for this long to decide if it's a sharp <laughs> wave, it's not. That's right. <laughs> I like that rule. Here's another, here's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, to your point of the slope is, is kind of symmetrical. And again, it doesn't disrupt the background. It's the same frequency as the rhythm that's before. Mm -hmm. It's not an artifact. It has a, 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 a logical feel. So it is cerebral, but it's a normal wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is a little bit enveloped, right? It's sort of a succession of waves getting a little bigger, and then that's the biggest one. And for whatever reason, then they, they you know, it goes back to, to sort yeah. of... Yeah. Let's see if we find yeah. some more that uh, when the patient gets drowsy, maybe it gets a little more impressive. Now, he has, this patient has a nice looking alpha rhythm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well formed, it's it's fairly symmetric. As we mentioned earlier, the left temporal area here looks looks like it has abnormal slowing. Mm -hmm. um, mild, but it's there. Mm -hmm. But I am here. You see, really dramatic slowing. There's no question. Um, yeah. Almost continuous slowing in that area. But now these waves are getting, you know, higher in amplitude, and I am sure we can find phase reversals in there. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's really an ongoing rhythm. And by the way, when this patient gets drowsy and the alpha rhythm starts breaking out, then these will give the illusion that they stand out. Let's see if we find. And the patient gets drowsy because that alpha rhythm is fairly prominent i see like this mm -hmm. yeah it looks like they're probably becoming drowsy here there's no yeah there's and then you have this so people start panicking because yes there are multiple phase reversals this is all benign you know what i've noticed too if you change the sensitivity at some point it's probably going to phase reverse <laughs> Yes, you're absolutely right. We can make a lot of things look like phase reversal. It's only a matter of where that maximum is. You know, if we have to agonize, like, what? Let me skip. If it takes three minutes to discuss if it's a sharp wave, let's not make it a sharp wave. Right. That, I think that's a good rule. For those um, residents, I guess, who are supposed to be able to you know, read an EEG and recognize a sharp wave by the time they're done, what, what could we do to improve the situation, in your opinion? Uh, looking at a lot of EEGs, looking at, a, uh, you know, you mandate a m mandatory minimum of routine EEGs they have looked at or the patients yeah. in the monitoring unit and that they look and the more you see, you develop a database of normal in your head and yeah. your threshold for abnormality goes up and then they contrast it to patients with really definite proven epilepsy and you can really see those sharp waves that meet all the criteria we discussed. Yeah. Seeing lots of examples. So the take-home point here, uh, Dr. Membadiz, is that phase reversals are usually or can be usually seen with epileptiform discharges, but um, normal findings can also phase reverse without being an epileptiform discharge, right? Absolutely. It can be normal waves and it can even be artifacts. So in itself, it does not help you to label the waveform abnormal or epileptiform. Right. Okay. So you can... You, you can let them catch your eye, but then you have to go through the other criteria. Exactly. Up to the background. Do they have a slow wave afterward? Do they have the morphology that's characteristic? Yeah. 
I look forward to seeing this piece of, of posterity. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Thanks a lot for doing this. It was great. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. You guys keep in touch. Yeah.